So we got Hawkeye, uh, ran from Disney Plus from November to December of 2021. Uh, so where we at? Where we at? Hawkeye introduced um, what, a few new what, characters. When did, when did Hawkeye come out? Hawkeye, November to December of 2021. Okay. So only a year ago. A year, yep, yeah. You know, so oh. um, cool. Okay, it was another Christmas themed uh, kind of background mm-hmm. of Christmas going on Mm -hmm. um introduced a few new characters and and stuff like that but um where are you gonna place it zach uh this should have been a christmas movie but um it's a c okay Mm. Okay. i am a big fan of these two characters in the comics especially this particular when they finally get paired Mm. bought the comics love the run i think Haley steinfeld is perfect casting this phase has some perfect casting and she's one of them Yes. And she's one of them as Kate Bishop. She is the character in real life. Um, <laughs> the things that hold it back for me is the story is weak to me. I think Jeremy Renner didn't put enough effort in a lot of the show in mm. terms of passion and matching the other actors. Yeah, he was uh, trying to get a I know. He's, he has his legal issues. He's trying to stay under the radar, which still bothers me that he gets to do that, but Ezra Miller's getting all the flack. But, um, as I digress at. <laughs> um well uh, I think Kingpin. I did not like their version of Kingpin compared to the Daredevil version. It's too cartoony. Um the mother Vera Farminga is a very fantastic actress, was a waste. Um yeah, it was just a lot of wasted potential for me. It should have been I think the best episode was the episode where they're getting away from Echo and they're on the, on their do that car chase. I thought mm. all that was amazing. That blew my mind, and I was like, yes. And then we never got to that love down back again and kind of like coasted a little bit. We got some mm-hmm. stuff with the the LARPers and I was like uh, okay. <laughs> and then we had the stuff with the stepdad and I'm like yeah, yeah I get it. You're setting up another character but eh. and then the finale was just yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. It was yeah, fun. It was over. It was over. You were like cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know like I feel like I'm that should have or should have a Christmas movie. Should have came out December 21st, two hours and 20 minutes. Could have did the same exact plot, more streamlined. Didn't need to be a weekly job and had production values and stuff like that. I think it could have did really well like that as well. But I just thought it was it wasn't I wasn't insulted because I love this these characters and the storylines, but also was just still disappointed. Okay. Brandon? I'd go a little higher. I'd give it a B. I liked that it was a smaller kind of street level story in comparison to some of the other things that we've seen in the MCU, you know, it could really just be, be summed up as Clint and Kate versus a crime, um, like a crime syndicate in New York, which I really liked, you know, we, we, we've gotten all these like Avengers level and Thanos level threats throughout the course of the MCU that we sometimes, that it's easy to forget. Sometimes there's smaller, like I said, street level stories going on. So it was a nice change of pace in that regard. Just like we said, um, Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. There was no one else. She was the obvious choice to play the role. She absolutely killed it. I'm looking forward to seeing more of her down the line. Um, I, I I thought the comic booky iteration of um of Kingpin was fun. You know, at, at, with him being kind of like this near indestructible peak human, um, for lack of a better term. I I thought I thought that was kind of fun to see. I will agree that Vera Farmiga, we all know that she's a great, great actress. She's proven that over and over again. But they didn't really do much um, to, um, they didn't really utilize her. You have a great actor like her at your disposal. I'm probably going to talk more about that later down the line when we talk about a, an, another movie on this list. But it just kind of seemed like an unfortunate waste in that regard. But overall, I had fun with it. I love the inclusion of Lucky, the, uh, the pizza dog. He was great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it was it was fun. It was like a fun kind of like Christmas buddy movie, kind of reminiscent of Lethal Weapon meets Die Hard to me. And 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 well, um, you can't be pulling out na- moves like that. Lethal <laughs> Die Hard <laughs> is a Christmas He's Die movie. Hard. Like that's die hard <laughs> you say like the best buddy cop moves ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lethal Weapon, Die Hard. You know, no, but I can um, say I can see the influences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, influenced by, yeah, influenced yeah. by, but not the same yeah. level of. <laughs> oh, I didn't say, I, I didn't say same level. I said, I, I said, I kind of picked up on, on like similar tones. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, so where you put it? 
B for uh, me. Oh, I, uh, B. B? Okay, mm-hmm. so we're at C and a B right here. Okay. So we'll put it at a B right now. Brian? It's all right. <laughs> well, real quick. So Andy, uh, Andy gave it was A for Arrow, B for Bullseye, C for Christmas. <laughs> I'm dead. I give it a B minus. I love Hayley Steinfeld. She was good. Uh, Jeremy Renner was done. The story was all right. <laughs> it's a B minus, man. This is a B minus. You giving a B? Yeah, it's a B B minus. You got to give it B or C, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mess up the break. Uh, give me a C. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me a C. Give it a C. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, I'm. Pro- I'm probably right there at a C as well. You know. Um. It. It. It was. It was fun. You know. I think if the story was a little bit stronger, it would have been. It would have been cooler. But because you had Yelena coming in, which was awesome. You had like uh, Kate Bishop, who was awesome. You know, like you said, Haley Seinfeld was amazing. But just some some of it was kind of just like it, it, it felt like going through the motions, like just going through the motions of something with a similar story, you know. And I agree with it with Zach. Like once that car chase, one of the coolest scenes, like one of the coolest scenes in I don't know in most That's of MCU period. stuff. This is definitely up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it really was. You know, turning the arrow big and all that crazy stuff. Super cool, oh, you know, and them going oh. back and forth and that being one solid shot with in the car where there's cutting back and forth to the front seat, back seat. It's so showing so how well good shot. she was because oh, like, yeah. she was doubting her up at that point and she just killed it. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was like, oh, I, I wish, you know, but then, but then after that, it just went down to a level and just stayed there. Just stayed there. You know, even that ending was kind of black. Even that same episode, after the cool down, they have that moment with his kid. And it's just like, wow, we got all this great action. But then we get a character moment right there. Him dealing mm-hmm. with his deafness, her understanding, him oh, translating yeah. to the kid. All yeah. that was fantastic. And if they just balanced all that stuff throughout the show, it would have been good. But they did it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Was it different? Di- I got to look up and see if it was different directors for each episode. Because whoever yeah, did that episode it, was great. It is you know, uh, different it directors every episode for all the yeah. Disney Plus shows. Was it? Yeah. So. That the ending was just such a oh, let down. oh, forgettable. Nobody even talked about her. That's how forgettable she was. Yeah, yeah, you know. But she had a good possible story arc, and they just kind of just kind of flashback just, was really flash- good too. Yeah, with her watching him kill everybody, I thought yeah. that was amazing. Yeah. So you know it it yeah. it was alright, but yeah, I'm giving it a C down right there with you guys. Um, yeah. And then uh, was better. Yeah, well, I think you're gonna have Daredevil and probably more Kingpin, so I think you'll have yeah the people maybe, maybe Hawkeye the connections, maybe Hawkeye, maybe Kate Bishop. You know, we'll see. Yeah. Um, but um, so we'll probably keep it at C three C's and a B. Oh no, three C's and who gave it a B? Brandon, Brandon. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So there I you go. Um, nice feature. That's why. <laughs> the, the good grade. 